Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of Getting Sensodyne Drunk. You have the Rhino, you have Sensodyne, you have Average Troll Murica. We have this beer from Nickelbrook in Burlington, Ontario. This is Nickelbrook's Cuvée Reserve Ale for 2013. So this comes out in the winter every year. This one is barrel-aged. It is a uh, high alcohol percentage. 8.5, I do believe. Let's double check here. 8.5. Bourbon barrel-aged. Ingredients... Malted barley, malted wheat, yeast, demerara sugar, hops, dried figs, orange peel, raisins, cinnamon, allspice, black pepper, cardamom, and vanilla beans. Cardamom, nice. Now, with those ingredients, myself and the average troll Marika were talking about style. It 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 could be. It, it seems like a hybrid. I mean, it comes off by ingredients to be almost like either a winter warmer. A saison, or a barley wine, or all three put into one, and then thrown into a bourbon barrel. It's what it seems like just by the ingredients list. And even even the Belgian characteristics, well, the yeast strain, I, I would assume, like the figs in there, and uh, it's just like, I don't know, just, I guess the figs could be part of the barley wine as well. But, um, well this is my favorite part, is watching Chad open a wax cap. I'm pretty sure this is going to be fast forward when we come to uh, the actual review. He'll, he'll do the Benny Hill music and we'll put it. I don't Benny have the Benny Hill. Hill music anymore. I lost it. It used to be on my computer. It's gone now. And my torch doesn't seem to be able to rip from YouTube anymore. Hmm. YouTube loop. Well, it looks like uh, YouTube is unfortunately going to have to watch you struggle through this. So oh no, I'll still speed it up. You're doing pretty well this time. I'd say let's have an off conversation, Jared. So uh, how was your holiday, bro? It was good. It was good. I ate a lot of everything. You name it. <laughs> a lot of everything. Right? Yeah, I was like, uh, Speaking of which, uh, Heather should be here. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be cut out, right, Chad? <laughs> uh, oh, my God. It didn't take him fucking 700 minutes. It might not be cut out. So it's so not cut out. Yeah, if it's bad. not cut out, I apologize, Heather. It was a That's joke. That's why I didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> The pie was delicious. What? You did? Oh, <laughs> oh my god. It's a thick You can whatever way you want. So, I oh, had... a thick glass. We were at a wrestling tournament once. It was off some. And we were in Guelph. And my wrestling coach went to visit one of his ex-girlfriends. He knew her forever. And he went to visit her just to say hi and all that. And he came back and we're like, hey, you have anything to eat? He goes, pie. We go, pie, eh? And he, he's an old man. He's like in his late 50s. He didn't know what we were talking about. We're like, did you have anything else? He goes, no, just pie. <laughs> just pie, eh? <laughs> How was that pie? And yeah, yeah, that's just because of the pie we were just talking about. Anyway, beer. Wow. That's a beautiful red color. It's a beautiful head. It's uh, pretty hazy. It certainly is. Now give that a sniff. Mm. If Hedder was here, we'd hear about salt and vinegar chips. Yeah. <laughs> no, you no hear dill, dill pickle. pickle. Dill pickle, yeah. Huh. Now that we say that, I do get a bit of dill pickle. It smells like a barley wine again to me. I'm getting the vanilla. I'm getting the oak. I'm not picking up the orange peel. I'm not picking up the cardamom. The there. figs are there. Tons and tons of cinnamon for me. Cardamom is what I'm interested in because I haven't had a beer with that in it. And it should lend uh, a bit of a citrus flavor, I hope. Um, I just, nice. I'm getting the allspice as well. I'm getting the cinnamon. I just want to say officially. Uh, officially, it smells really good. Officially, fuck you, Jared. Well, for fucking bringing up this dill pickle <laughs> stupid characteristic to the forefront because... Now I smell it, and I didn't use to. To be honest, that was Chad, but uh, it's all right. Well, fuck I'll, you, then, I'll, Chad. I got you know what? Soldiers, Here, you know? here's something. Fuck both of you. <laughs> Drink the beer and tell us what you think. Cheers, Cheers. guys. There's a lot of things in it, but I don't taste any individual thing when I uh, have a sip of it. I, I, I don't think they go well together. I don't think they go well together. Mm. 
I mean, you're getting a lot of the barrel characteristic, but, like, the spices, they kind of pop out here and there, and they just... It's complex, it's in layers, and the problem is you have to fight to pull the layers apart. And, 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 and some of the some of the spices, just for me, are, like, popping in at the wrong time. Yeah, like, the allspice is uh, coming off on the very end right now, and it really shouldn't. You should get the allspice up near the front... Uh, at the back, it's just giving me a weird bitterness on the background. Yeah. Uh, the cinnamon's coming off, kind of gritty. Yeah. Um, is it a good beer, though? Yes. I mean, it's not a bad beer. It wasn't made well, wrong. It's just... <sighs> Old Kentucky Bastard I liked so much better last year. This I liked so much better every year before now. Uh, I don't know if they both stayed in the barrels less time than usual. I know the old Kentucky Bastard, I was told, stayed in the barrel less than before. I don't know... I don't think the very first cuvee I had had as many ingredients as this. Uh, right now, this ingredients list is looking a lot like... Not exactly like, but a lot like Stormy Monday. And... I, but you I love that beer, don't I you? I do. I do love Stormy Monday. I don't know if a bourbon barrel is the way that this should have went. Not not with those the sheer amount of ingredients in here. I you know, I don't I don't know. Pull, no, I mean, it's just it's it. just not doing it for me. Like it, it there's a lot of things in it, but I don't taste any one specific thing and I don't I don't think they came together as a nice flavor either. No, like it is not, it is uh, a very fresh bottle. I do have another bottle that's gonna be laying down for a while to see how it changes. But as you you and James say, if you if you have to urge the bear, then yes. don't do it. Yes, it's true. I want it. To, I want it to be great the moment I open it. I want it to be great the moment it comes out on the on the shelves. Yeah. Is it great right now? No. Is it still good? Would I pay money for it? Probably, because I mean, it's a ten dollar beer. It's a big beer. It's high alcohol percentage. The taste isn't bad. It's just it's not it's not something I would go out of my way to get. Luckily, it's just down the street, but yeah. uh, I wouldn't go out of my way to get it. Yeah, I've had other things from Nickelbrook, and I, I've been pretty happy with them. This one, I don't know if I would uh, get again. Like this bottle, this date here is at the bottle date. It says twelve uh, December thirtieth, two thousand thirteen. So I don't, I don't know if that's the day it was bottled on. I would expect that would be the day it was bottled um, on. Just, just, just really, I know you're getting kind of drunk, right? So just process what you just said. What the fuck else do you think they did on twelve thirty two thousand thirteen? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's I'm the day they waxed it. <laughs> the wax day? Yeah, I, don't, I don't know. Fucking Jerry. Jesus so if it's only been in a bottle for a week, if they're, yeah. I don't know, if they're priming it. It's I, young. I don't know how they do their, but yeah, it's, it's very young, and, and maybe it needs more time to, to sit. So. Holy shit, that's a beer key term. That's like hot. I take that back. It's not young. Jesus. I mean, for all we know, it might still be in its unfortunate period, because it is a barrel-aged beer. <laughs> you know what might be its unfortunate period? The beer itself. <laughs> John, you can kick his ass at the festival in April. John, they don't call me Average Show America for a reason. But yes, they do. <laughs> no, I mean, is it, like you said, is it a bad beer? No, I'm, no. it's almost gone. I, I took probably like six ounces, it's almost gone. It's very easy drinking. It's 8.5% alcohol yeah. and it just drains. It has a decent flavor, but I, it's think, just, they're, they're, I feel there's too many ingredients. Like there's, there's There is a, too many ingredients. You know what I would probably take out? I would probably take out the Demerara sugar. I would probably take out... One of the spices, cinnamon, allspice. I would probably take out the uh, cinnamon, actually, because, as I said, it's kind of gritty. Mm -hmm. And I would probably take out... Mm. I take out the raisins, because I just don't like raisins. You know what, just just, just, you know, just just take away the beer. Well, yeah, you already have figs. You don't really need raisins. Yeah, one or the other, mm -hmm. but not both. It, it's... it's just like, you have cinnamon in this, or you have allspice. You don't need both. You, uh, you know what it comes down to? For black me? pepper. You know what? The black pepper is what's driving me insane. Yes. That's what's coming out right at the very end. I forgot that you said that, and that was one of the key characteristics when you're talking about it was a high. Take you know what? If you took the black season. pepper out, it probably would be a lot better, because I forgot all about it until I read it. But that's yeah. what that weird dryingness is in the back of my throat. I just think it's one of those beers where like it says cuvee on it, so it means what like you said reserve style or. Most cuvées are like oh, just special. one of our best beers or the best beer or whatever the case may be. And it's like, you know what, we're going to make a cuvée, we're just going to try to make it crazy unique and just throw like a half dozen spices, a bunch of different sugars, a bunch of different fruits, and just see what we get. Then we're going to barrel age and it's like, I don't know how much thought went into the actual beer itself, but at the end of the day, 
there's a few things that are off on it that, that could definitely be improved upon. Whether it's removing the ingredients we talked about, whether it's even adding things, whether it's changing around like exactly the amounts of different things they're adding in, I don't know. But they could have. Uh, for me, now that I've reread the list, take out the cinnamon, take out the black pepper, and I think it would be a lot better. Or like you guys said, maybe take out one of the raisins or figs too. I, I think to be fair too, we'd have to try it couple months down the road yep. i'd be interested even in a year down the road yeah and i'd be say. interested in a non-barrel barrel aged version of this just to see how that non-barrel aged was the original cuvee i had from them their winter their winter beer cuvee which year um fuck that would have been the first year i did this so 2010 yeah that was amazing yeah so maybe the bourbon just kind of just destroyed well, that, their that's the other flavors. thing right i'm sitting here thinking did a bourbon barrel would a bourbon barrel work with these flavors i mean it, it worked but is it helping it or detracting from it? I would think like a cognac barrel. A cognac barrel, a wine barrel, a, wine a barrel. sherry barrel. Yeah. Uh, I think I think we have to step away from whiskey when you're adding all these ingredients into it. W w bourbon and whiskey works. I just feel like never mind. I apologize, Jared. Bourbon and whiskey kind of just <laughs> thank uh, you. <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking drunk, Jared. Um, <laughs> no, you bourbon too. and whiskey kind of uh, just is best for imperial stouts, Russian imperial stouts. American yeah. imperial style, it doesn't really matter. For something like this, you definitely need a barrel that's a little bit more exotic. Out of 10? I'm going to go 6. It, it's not awful, but it's not great either. 6 for me. I'm going to go 7 because I could definitely easily buy this again considering the price, considering the alcohol percentage. And then considering that, like we talked about, the, the taste isn't bad. Still, yeah, it's still bad. okay. It's still, I would say, even borderline good. It just, it's not what I was. It doesn't. It just be. doesn't mingle. It just doesn't work as no. well as it could have. No. And for me, I'd give it a seven two five. Again, it's not what I want out of it, but for what it is, I actually do enjoy it. I just, I could buy it again. I mean, it's eight point five percent alcohol. It's a seven fifty. It's barrel aged. It can sit. I can age it if I want. And it's only ten dollars compared mm. to like, uh, well. The old Kentucky bastard is thirteen dollars. Well, compared to like, no, don't compare it to that. You'll get a lot of haters. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I'm just saying for other beers from them. Uh, mm -hmm. The old Kentucky bastard, thirteen dollars. The uh... well, let me pose a question to you. Would you rather have this at ten dollars or the old Kentucky bastard at thirteen dollars? In all honesty, the old Kentucky Bastard didn't wow me this year as well as it did either. So I think this for four, well, three dollars less, I would rather drink. I think I'd rather have a Bourbon County Stout, honestly. Yeah, but that wasn't what you asked. <laughs> yeah, me. I know. I just. Um, yeah, so seven two five for me. Uh, it's still a good beer. It just, I think, Ryan and the and the gang tried too much this time. They tried huh. to do something too spectacular, and it just didn't mingle the way it should all right before we leave we got a fucking review probably like 80 minutes long i don't even know i think it could have sat longer that's that's my only thing i think we we tried it too too early and it you know maybe we're skewing our review by that so. at the end of the day i wanted to ask you specifically jared jared's new to the cast kind of like me i think you're but uh i noticed when you do a lot of barrel age things you get a lot of weird characteristics you might not like them as much do you find yourself not liking what the fuck am I doing? Do you find yourself not liking the, the barrel age stuff as much as, as, as us or is is style? Yeah, barrel age is, for me is not as spectacular as something that's just on its own. I think I like I like a more malt pro profile, I guess, as opposed to maybe the what the barrel lens. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying. Now. I don't like you're smiling at me like you were saying something funny. And I'm like I don't So you're here here first, YouTube. Don't take Jared's opinion as anything. Thank you. If you like girl stuff, yeah, I don't take my opinion. So. I'm just joking. And that, and that that's what you see when you have the Rhino reviews with everybody. Everybody uh, has different likes, different tastes, and different experiences. So, you know, if you don't like barrel aged stuff, this might not be for you. Even if you do, it's probably still not for you. <laughs> take it easy, YouTube. Chad's pissing hey. in the sink. Bye. <laughs>